CBT guitar lesson for Timmy on Beatles Day Trip. Now this kid, I had to throw you for a loop, dude. Um, April Wine, I like to rock. What a cool song you picked, man. And uh, in tribute, man, you're watching them live right now. Um, yeah, the end of the song, you know, they go into Day Tripper and uh, Stone Satisfaction. Pretty clever how they did that. So tuning in this is standard. And it starts, it fades in with uh, 16th note progression just on the low E string, alternate picking. Thinking eights is the best way, like. Just keep it consistent, okay? Until it kicks into. Um, and uh, if you listen close, it's a minor on this. There's two guitars. You know, it builds into, but 7A, 9D, 9G, and 8B. So you'll strum those, and there's a kind of a soft string mute in between it. It kind of keeps the rhythm up to a G chord. It's 10A, 12th fret D, G, and B. Hit that, follow it with a mute to a D chord 5A, 7D, G, and B. So it's the same chord shape, right? Structure and everything, but it's fifth, uh, fifth fret on the A string for the root. And then power chords, 5, 7, A, D, we're already there. Back a half step to 4, 6, back a whole step to 2, 4. And that'll go two times and then it starts the third one and changes. So the third one, um, it plays it up to, well, think of it as a kind of a new part. Uh, there'll be two hits coming out of the second time when you go like back to the E minor um, string mutes to 5 7 D G and then an A major from the top string down 5 7 7 6 so your chord outline is love stuff like that 3 A and uh, Tim used the same fingering on this hammer to the fourth fret and then 2G vibrato and then uh, I went ahead and got all solos on this there's three or four of them some short some longer but 15B bend vibrato 39 seconds in twice and then pre-bend release pull off to 12 now we've done a lot of solos Tim so I'm pretty sure you know how these work but um, you're already up there as it is but if you weren't we need to be up a whole step pick release the bend pull it off to the 12th fret 15 G double pull 14 and 12 whatever fingers you want there 14 G twice bend vibrato so pre-bend 14 G we're already there release to 12 and then some double stops 14 G and B and then 12th G and B hammer 14s pull 12s those are tricky for some people to because you got to hammer you know solid not just on the G but the B string as well to 14 D so that's a good little thing to practice just those four things and then 12 G B 14 D vibrato 12 on the D hammer 14 pull 12 14 A 12 D and G so those five notes 14 A slide to 12 and then short rest so 10 12 A 12 E slide and I would go first third middle but you can go first third third if you want to shift that up but section 3a 49 seconds in this is the verse Oops. probably a little too heavy huh the distortion it's not hitting real hard palm mute open e goes 7a 9d slide to 5 7 and then reverse it palm mute the open e 5 7 AD slide to 7 9. Palm mute the open E, 3 E, 5 A. So it's a G power chord. String mutes back to the G chord, and then two mutes back to the G chord. So it's. It's a 
important that you get that that beat. If you have to subgroup it, do it. And then um, that's two times of that whole part, and then it finishes off. Starts the same way. You'll go. But this time when you slide back up to the E power chord, you're going to hit it. You'll uh, accent these chords. 3A, 5D. Move up a half step at a time until you get to 7-9. It's chromatically moving it, so you'll go. Okay, that finishes section 3A. Section 3B is a minute in, and it's a play off of that, so it's going to start the same way. Um, you'll go. Add that extra E chord when you slide back up. Back to the G chord. This time, palm mute the 3E and then hit the G chord again. So it's top of page 3. And then two palm mutes on the root. And then the chord. So substitute what we did for mutes with palm mute 3rd fret E string. 5 5A, 7D, string mutes to 5-7-E-A, 5-7-A-D again, to open A, 7-9, it's just a transition that open, you'll go open A to 3-5, open A to 5-7, and then you'll hear this build up like seven times off that D chord. Um, where's that? So if you go a minute into the song, I want to see something right here. Yeah, you have these, they're quick, you know, like, uh, section four, a minute 14 in, still a play off of these other ones. They start the same way, but check it out. <clears throat> minute 14 no palm mutes on these opens I gotta double check that yep no palm mutes no palm mutes at all so it's a open E the E power chord 7 9 AD slide to 5 7 open E back to the E power chord to 5 7 3 E 5 A so that, once again, comes in at a minute 14. So it's G to A. So 3 E, 5 A, up to 5 7. And that's on the accent. Then start that groove over. Followed by two open E's into the D power chord, 5, 7, A, D. That's the only difference. Um, and you'll hear a filler. And this is probably a different guitar track, but we're going to throw it in. 7 on the A string, hammer 9, and then bar 7, D, and G. Alright, you'll see double dots. Go back, second time, no star. Um, which would be, uh, hold on, you'll just do this. You'll, you'll break on that accent. Um, then it's 7A, 9D, 5, 7, open A, right back to 7, 9. This follows the vocal melody line and it goes two times, it goes. Solo number two, a minute 28 in. 12th fret B, now this is a step and a half bend, follow with the vibrato. So we're bending a, a B note to a D note. It should be, that's your target. And then vibrato it. It's up there, so if you're using third finger, which you should, back it with a couple. And then, um, then you go 14 G, bend release, pull off to 12. 14 vibrato, and then this is a cool little riff, 10B index, slide to 12, and then get set up for a bar on the 12th fret, because he goes, it'll be a, you'll go 15E, pull off to 12, 
and then pick the 12B. Think of this as like a three note pattern. And then do that, but start on the 14th fret high E. Still do the pull off. Back to the 15th. So you have three groups of those triplets. Ending on the 17th, so. Love that riff. Um, that's it for that solo, short one. Um, series of repeats, uh, 136, it's section 3A. Um, this is no star, and after that it'll be on the A, 5, 4, 2, and then the low E string, 3, 2, open. Uh, minute 46, we have repeats. Um, coming off of that with the no star, it's just a slide. It goes open A, down up, 10 E slide. Two minutes in, section four, no star. In place of that, it's the E sliding to the D power chord, like we've used earlier, 7, 9, A, D, slide to 5, 7, followed by open E, then reverse it. It's from the E, then over the D chord, so. Then, fuller chords here. From the top string down, it's a G. You're gonna go three, five, five, four. Move that a whole step up to five, seven, seven, six. Do a rest. So it's G to A. 7A, 9th fret D and G, two times. And then these are quicker changes. D, A, D, A, E, E. And it's 5, 7, A, D to 5, 7, E, A twice. 7, 9, A, D twice. So make sure you don't go. Quick rest. And I do that by just bringing this hand down. Page four, two minutes, 22 seconds. It's just uh, like a breakdown. You stay on that E chord, go twice. And you'll hear it, man. The whole band accents this once and then two times. And you'll hear it um, on a different track leading into to this really cool part, man. Um, you'll hear an open E string. I don't have a whammy bar on this guitar, but basically you want to press the whammy bar down take your like your middle finger or whatever pluck it to get it open and then bring the guitar or bring the whammy bar slowly up to pitch you don't have to pull past the natural point but just where it naturally sits and then it's this part love this part this part I mean, it reminds me of being a kid man I just remember this part being so weird hold on so it'll be They're power chords. You just don't hear them played on the G and B string hardly ever. 9G, 12B. Move that up to 1215. And then 12D, 14G, so we have a regular looking one. And they all have those rests after them. And then this is quicker. Um, hit it again, go 1113 and 911. So it's. Just to trick you, they do it again like this. First three are the same. Hit an extra one, 1214, and then the three three chord walk down. So second one's a little longer, right? By one chord hit. And it's also got um, it sounds like a wah wah pedal or something very similar to that that he's stepping on it as he hits each chord. Wow, wow, wow. Might be a little bit of rush. Yeah, Tim? Or not. Nah. Um, two times, second time, no star. So the second time is going to be like this. Into the solo, number three. Two minutes, 40 seconds in. 15B, you're going to bend it twice. Vibrato slide the second. 12E, and follow the fingering in your tabs here. You're gonna go 12, and then on the A, 10, 12, slide to 14. 12, 14 on the D. And then uh, 14A, 12G, and then 14, 14, AG. Oops. 
middle finger 7G slide to 9 and then on the B string I love this technique 8 10 8 hammer 10 pull 8 slide 7 sounds like this and then go 8 7 7 G I think he goes but I wanted to keep it in one spot for you gross the fight a little bit so we have 9DG vibrato 250 timestamp 1012 on the B as well as the E and then 1012 bend release so 1012 bend vibrato so pre bend the 12 release and then 10 12 and then he jumps up you gotta um, alternate pick this for sure it's a triplet on the high E go 15 16 17 and then half step bend and then whole step and then a whole step 17 and then 17 bend release bend so a lot of bends so it's 256 timestamp Probably my favorite part of the solo here.